on the Ghetto Gourmet. Um, I told you about a family that was in need yesterday and um, about the um, the young child that passed away and today um, I, I contacted the young lady who's spearheading this. Um, I'm not going to give her information up without um, you know her approval but she needs food in the home and they need help with the funeral costs and all that. Well, when it comes to food, she contacted a guy with a lot of food. So, um, I'm making them spaghetti, and I wanted to show you this because this is important when you're cooking spaghetti. I've got, I've got my salt in the water. The water is boiling already. Now, watch how I put it in. You see how I spun it like that? Okay? That's how you start your spaghetti. Now, that's going to fall in really fast, all right? The reason why I spun it like that is how many times you had big clumps of spaghetti sticking together. This is why I'm doing this. So I'm going to kick some spaghetti and make a big old pot of spaghetti. Meat spaghetti sauce. And um, I'm going to kick it on over. I'm going to give her a call and have her come down. And I've got, maybe I'll make some cookies for the kids. I mean, it's, I mean, can you imagine being five years old or six years old and holding your baby, you know, your, your little brother and saying goodbye and it's a body, you know, it's not a lot, you know, can you imagine? I can't, I, even as the way my mind works, you know, you, you guys read my stuff, you know, I think like a child sometimes, um, and I can relate, but I can't relate to that. I just, I, I just, wow. So, oh, see, now it went down real fast, right? And then I'm going to grab my spoon. And, uh, so this is going to happen pretty fast. I'm going to thaw some meat out. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it real simple because we got a five-year-old and a six-year-old. And so they're not going to want a bunch of, oops, that noodle went down to crack. I'll never see that noodle again. Really got to pull my oven out. <laughs> All right, and then so I'm going to keep moving it right now for a little while uh, to keep the spaghetti from sticking. All right, you can see it's already as I lift it up. All right, because I put a whole load in there. All right, this is going to fill the pot. And as I keep moving it and stirring it and lifting it, you see the strands start breaking apart. You can see this, right? I'm not steaming you out. Cool. All right. And they'll keep breaking apart and breaking apart and breaking apart. All right. All right. So we're going to let that go until it's al dente. And then I'm going to pull some more food out and... Um, uh, make these kids some cookies, you know. They've gone through a lot. And on Easter, on Easter, man, that's hard, man. All right, peace and grace, peace up. This is what it's about. Better family, better neighborhood, better community. You can find it in the church. You can find it in the back alley. You can find it in the tweak house. You really can. Because love don't stop. It don't stop no matter where you are. The human condition is of love. All right. Peace and grace. Want you better in your home. I'm a, Hey, this is great. All the food that I got in my freezer, I can do something with it. I can make something good happen with it besides just run the show and get, you know, have too much food. Because I, I, have, a, I have a freezer full of food now. So this is a great way for me to, I love giving back. You know what I mean? All right. All you G's. Feel me? Yeah. Yeah. OSCI I, I, <laughs> is my home. Right? Shutter Creek, Pendleton, and all them people. All across the world, man. All you nuts up in Pelican Bay, I'll teach you to cook. <laughs> yeah, one of my homies was there. He told me that's the hard spot. The hard spot. He kept getting fights in Folsom, and he's a badass. You know, Curry, Steve Currier, I told you stories about him. At 60 years old, he could still kick the ceiling straight up. Bam! <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll talk to you later. Um, and get this going.